If you are a busy career driven woman who is struggling to figure out how to do some simple meal prep and fit it into your life, this video is going to be perfect for you. Welcome to my channel, ladies. My name is Angelica Matrice. I'm a business mindset and wellness coach. I've been in this space for 11 years and I've transformed over 700 women in their minds and their bodies. And we really teach them in our program, simple, simple meal prep, simple tips, tricks, and hacks to get you through the week. So you're not stressed about your nutrition, about your food. I think sometimes we tend to overcomplicate it. So I'm going to take you through a typical day of eating for me. I'm a busy entrepreneur. Although I do work from home, I still do meal prep on Sundays or Monday evening because I don't want to be scrambling when I'm really busy on back to back, you know, mindset coaching calls, mastermind calls, all the things I want my food ready for me. So it really doesn't matter whether you work at home or from home or you're in an office or you're on the go. These tips are going to be useful for everyone. So my typical day of eating will first start out in the morning with a protein shake. I like to use a vegan protein. My favorite right now is the cachava chocolate. It's freaking delicious and has really great micronutrients in as well. So I'll do the cachava chocolate. I'll also use some frozen spinach. So you always want to have frozen veggies on hand just in case. Great way to add in more veggies into all of your meals. So frozen spinach, half a frozen banana, maybe some almond milk or coconut milk, um, and a tablespoon of almond butter as well. So that is my pre-workout protein shake. Then I get home from the gym and I will usually have egg whites. I'm allergic to yolks. So I just do the egg whites and I'll typically throw them on a cauliflower thin. These are the sandwich thins. These are amazing. They're so delicious. They have all different flavors, outer aisle. Um, I love this brand, not affiliated, just love them. And if I'm not doing the cauliflower thin and I desire more carbs for that day, then I will have actually oatmeal with my egg whites in it and blueberries. So I tend to switch it up between those two. My lunch is typically ground turkey meat with some type of veggies thrown in. So ground turkey meat with spinach, uh, mushrooms, whatever I may have in the house. And that's what I batch cook. So that's going to be a really easy thing for you to batch cook. If you like ground turkey, ground chicken. Uh, and then for dinner, it's usually a piece of fish and some more veggies or sweet potatoes in the air fryer, which you can see behind me. So a few things you're going to want to have when you're a busy career driven woman and you don't have much time to cook or meal prep throughout the week. There's a few things that I always inform my clients to get. So you're going to want to have a food scale. So you kind of know how much protein, how much fats, how much carbs you're actually eating. You're going to want a sheet pan. Okay. Sheet pans are essential, essential to batch cooking a bunch of veggies, batch cooking sweet potatoes. So with my sweet potatoes, I cut them into coins and then spray them with olive oil spray and then sea salt, pepper. You can do cayenne, you can do cinnamon, you can do them however your little heart desires. But sweet potatoes, I particularly like the Japanese ones. They have been a go-to staple of mine. They're very macronutrient dense carbs. So they're really, really great for you. Lots of vitamins and minerals, potassium. So I love them for my carb of choice. My other carb of choice throughout the week is going to be yellow or red lentil pasta. You can find this brand at Target actually. And I really do like this brand because it actually has more protein and fiber than some of the other more expensive brands, honestly. So this is the Good and Gather brand from Target, the yellow lentil pasta. And I will have the yellow lentil pasta with some Rayo sauce. What I do with my sauces, I throw frozen veggies into the sauce when I cook it so I can increase my vegetable intake. Why am I harping on vegetables so much, ladies? Is because so many of you are not eating enough vegetables. You're on the go, you're living off coffee, you're not drinking enough water, and your gut health is poor. In order to feed the good bacteria in your gut, you need to eat vegetables and fruit as well. But vegetables contain a ton of fiber, which then gets turned into short chain fatty acids, which feeds the good gut bacteria. So little gut health tidbits there. So it's really important that you are getting a proper amount of veggies and then fruit. So I would say, five to eight servings of veggies a day, two servings of fruit. My go-to fruit would be a green apple or I love berries. And then when it's in season, I could eat a whole freaking watermelon in one sitting. So these are kind of your staples. Now, what I do, like, so Sunday night will come and I will batch cook, cook, <laughs> I will batch cook a bunch of turkey meat. So three pounds of turkey meat mixed in with onions. If you like onions, peppers, mushrooms, um, you can do asparagus, you can do spinach, you can do kale whatever your heart desires veggie wise. 
throw the veggies in with the turkey meat. It's only going to be better for you that way, right? So I'll batch cook a bunch of that. I'll have it in a big Tupperware. You could pre-weigh it out. Like you could weigh out your four to six ounces of um, protein for each day. But because I'm home, I just can, I weigh it out quickly. But if you're on the go, I highly advise that the evening before you make your salad, you make your little lunch box or, you know, put in your cooler, you weigh out your protein, you throw it on salad, you get your sweet potatoes ready or jasmine rice or pasta, whatever you're having for your carb of choice. And you have that ready. Same thing with the vegetable, uh, with your breakfast. If you're not able to cook eggs in the morning because you have to get out of the house, you can bring your protein shake. You could also make egg bites. You could also make a frittata. So a frittata, you use a big pan. You cook a bunch of veggies and eggs and then you, you saute it for a little bit and then you bake it. And then it comes out literally almost looks like, almost like a quiche, but there's no breading. So you can cut that up and you could have throughout the week and you could throw potatoes in your frittata for carbs, onions, broccoli, whatever you desire. They are delicious. Uh, so that's another option for breakfast on the go. Chia seed pudding, overnight oats. Really, really these things are very easy to make and you could take them with you on the go. Now, while I'm sauteing my turkey meat and veggies, my good old cheap pan, and we have two of these, we have maybe sweet potatoes on one and then we're roasting asparagus and Brussels sprouts and some other vegetables, maybe more root vegetables if we're in the mood of its season, um, squashes and things like that, zucchini. If you have a grill and you live in a warm climate, you can also grill peppers, zucchini, asparagus. Very, very simple. Multitask. Okay, ladies, I know you're good at multitasking. Most men are not really great at multitasking. But so if I'm cooking something on the stove, I'm also cooking stuff on the grill. Perhaps I bought a bunch of chicken and I seasoned the chicken breast and then those are being grilled while I'm making the turkey meat. So I always have an abundance of stuff. This way, when my week comes and I'm busy or it's, the week is dwindling down, I still have food. You know, and I still will do like a mini meal prep on Thursday to have some food for the weekend because a lot of women I find they kind of free for all on the weekend and that's where like a big portion of your hard work during the week can get skewed if you're not paying attention to what you're eating on the weekend too, right? So that is, it's really, really simple guys. Get yourself an air fryer. So say that you, you desire to have fish or say you're a pescatarian, I love fish, I love salmon, I love tuna. Obviously you can't really meal prep that stuff in advance. I mean, you can, I think it's, I like to eat it fresh, but I do buy the big packs of wild caught cod or wild caught salmon from Whole Foods. And then I defrost a piece, say, I know I'm gonna have it. I want it tomorrow, I defrost it tonight, throw it in the air fryer. It takes like eight minutes. So if your veggies and everything else is ready, the fish takes eight minutes. And if you're cooking for a family, the air fryers, there's bigger ones. You just want to make sure you purchase a bigger one, but this one is just me and my boyfriend. So it's totally fine, but you can't fit too much in one like that. Uh, another thing that I love, love, love to make in the air fryer is like healthy chicken nuggets kind of thing. So you can buy the chicken tenders, dip them in eggs, coat them with almond flour and flax meal. So then you're also getting the benefits from the flax, which has a lot of omega-3s, really great for you, uh, fiber. And then you salt, pepper, seasoning, whatever you desire, make them spicy, throw them in the air fryer, delicious. Dip them in some organic ketchup. So there's so many things you can do. And if you're wondering, do I have treats? Yes, of course. We bake gluten-free brownies. I usually bake once a week or make pumpkin muffins or my, my boyfriend makes really delicious gluten-free banana bread. So I definitely do enjoy myself. I have a piece or two pieces of dark chocolate every evening and sometimes during the day because I, because I can, because I'm not stressed about food. So I really do have food freedom and I hope the same for you ladies. If this is something you're struggling with, if you have weight to lose and you've been stuck for a long time, go ahead and click the link in the description box. We have some openings coming up for our Fit for Life Transformation program. Like I said, we've transformed over 700 women um, and they don't just lose weight, they feel freaking amazing. They gain more confidence and they have they feel in control with food because it's important that you have a healthy relationship with food, right? So I hope these tips were helpful. Let me know if you like videos like this. I can definitely come in and do some more meal prep videos live. Um, but I look forward to hearing from you guys and I'll chat with you soon.